Well, ladies, you know, when um, Lydia and I had this conversation a few weeks ago on what topics and Lydia asked about additives and support. And first I thought Lydia in my, in myself, oh, that's so boring. But then I just thought it's really not because we've got our core which is NIMU. We've got the core that really, if all else fails in the world, the core will change skin. It's scientifically proven. But we have other needs and our clients have other needs and we've got other types of clients and we need to be able with your brand to fulfill all needs that possibly could walk through your door. Otherwise, the brand is not doing enough for you. So when I really had a nice intensive different look at additives and support just got me all excited again so i'm going to start today to talk to you about the ai range so let's start with ai now let me tell you a little secret when we launched ai the serious NIMU people the people that knew assets that loved assets that understood why NIMU works and why it's worked for 26 years. We were a bit of, why are you doing this? Why do you want to launch this age intelligent range? Because for us NIMU nights, it's just, it's a waste, but it was not. We had to look at a different market again. We had to look at something to focus on anti-aging to look at a superior range for anti-aging, but that actually falls a little bit out of our traditional core of our triple alpha hydroxy acid complex, but that looks at other types of ingredients for another reason, but that you could still use with your NIMU cleansing gel, your NIMU conditioner, you could still go on phase two, you could still integrate your treatments, as we do with faders, because remember girls, faders, do not contain alpha hydroxy acids, it's got other actives. So we had to change how we saw it. It is similar in action to faders with faders ingredients focus on pigmentation where these ingredients are going to focus on a different way we age. So we wanted this prestigious high performance brand. We wanted to show the world and to reiterate that we are a futuristic brand. And I think when you saw the HA, range that we've launched now. It's using something traditional in a completely new way to show that we are looking forward, that we are really back to, to looking at the future. So we wanted to reiterate that fact. We wanted to look at what is available in the world. What is available with ingredients? What technologies are now available that can be used successfully with our assets in our cleansers, conditioner, phase two products, etc. And that could fulfill a consumer needs and also maybe a different consumer's needs. So furthermore to just looking at how we rejuvenate and restorate and antioxidate and protect with our NIMU, we had to look at why people age the way they age. We had to look at studies of aging. So when the scientist was briefed those days, I remember we sat with her and said, we want, this is what we want, this is our company, our philosophy, but we want you to come back to us with research that was done with studies over years, with lots of evidence to look at how and why people age differently. So we had to look at these ingredients that's going to possibly work on an omics philosophy. So omics, what that means, what the scientists worked on was looking at biological studies that was done on various aspects of the aging process, on the histology aspect, the cytology aspect, cell metabolism, and see why people age the way they age. And because people do not change, how a brand can or ingredients can actually assist that client, although she's quite naughty at home. So we had to look at our, a unique delivery system, a hybrid system. So we've actually used two to three different aspects in delivery in this range. We wanted to definitely increase hydration because we know worldwide, we know hydration will always be a kind of an issue. No matter where you are in the world, it's how we change, it's how our cells change, it's how we age, it's what we are exposed to. If it's an anti-age range, of course you need to give firmness. 
elasticity. You need to have an anti-sagging effect on the skin. So you need to work in the aspect of dermal rejuvenation. Um, we need to be able to stimulate and cell communicate so that we can stimulate collagen, elastin production, and of course, keep moisture in. And then we had to consider our consumer needs. Now, the study that this was based on is basically called the omics philosophy. So what they looked at, what these biologists looked at was looking at our consumer profile. So they looked at consumers worldwide and starting with, with twins. So looking at a twin, two twin sisters, same gene pool. They could be 50 years old, the one could look 60, the one could look 40. Why? Same genes, same mother, same father, same gene pool. So you can't only consider the genes and your chronological aging when you plan an advanced anti-age range. You had to look at more, but you had to consider the gene pool. So to consider your gene pool, you also had to look at the client's life story. Now, we are in such a privileged industry that we actually are allowed to ask quite, clients quite private questions. And it's not to pry, of course. It is to really understand what my client is going through. And I think even now, I, get, I actually get so excited for the right reasons, not the wrong reasons during Corona, because we are really focused on people's story now. And so we must be in salon. And like I said to you before, it's where you start at the reception or your front door when you say, hi, Susan, how are you today? How was your holiday? And she tells you about the stresses. She tells you about the bad weather in Mauritius. She tells you about having to fly back or move home. That already starts my analysis of her life story. And by just that, I already know it's going to have an effect on her immune system. It's going to have an effect on her inflammation in her cells. It's going to affect what I see visually on her skin. So we had to listen to the story. We had to look at the twins and understand that they have a different story. So my story is here in my heart, what I've been through, my heart and soul and mind. Have I experienced a lot of stress, pain, loss, frustration, um, fear? Have I had um, deaths, divorces, losses, and financial implications? That is my story. And my story ages me differently than my gene pool or than the environment. But we also had to look at the lifestyle. So our ingredients had to focus on gene pool, life story changes in my cell, but also lifestyle. And I'll show you the twins in it again, looking at, does my client um, afford good skincare? Does she, when she goes outside, use sunblock? Is she outside all the time? Maybe she's a, a horse rider, maybe she trains hockey, or maybe he trains rugby, they're outside all the time, or they're in construction. The lifestyle they live, what they can afford for their skin, what they put on the skin, where they are relating to environment, it was very important. So in the study, we had to consult and get information to see how aging, chronological aging affect a person, relating to gene pool, we had to look at the story of an individual, the lifestyle of the individual, and of course, environment. Indoor pollution, outdoor pollution, sun exposure, um, high energy visible light exposure, um, smoking, um, all of those environmental aspects. And through those questions, we then can determine our consumer identity. And through that, we can, with AI, treat aging for a different client, for a different perspective. Now, actually years ago already, the National Geographic magazine tapped into studies on genes and aging with genes. So if you look at this beautiful visual, these are twins. I don't know how clear you can see it on, the, on your laptops or devices, but same gene pool, they age differently. Yes, they have certain characteristics that are different. The one has bigger eyes than the other one. So those characteristics are just how they were born. But if you look at, if I look at my screen, um, the right-hand side twin, if you look at your screen, she, in the story about them, her story was quite sad. 
she had a different story, a more traumatic life story, and she looks older. Um, if, you look, if you had to listen to her lifestyle, her outdoor lifestyle, her habits, she had a very much more controversial, difficult life. And it shows in the aging. It shows in the wrinkles on the face. It shows the wrinkles around the lips. And it even shows expression in the eyes. And you can even see a bit of a more sadness. Where the other one maybe has a bit of a more sag on the eyelids, the other one has a sadness and that also showed. This twin was a lovely indication. Twin, if I look at my screen on my right hand side, twin B, the only way I can see it's a different twin is her eye color is a bit different than twin A. And obviously she has long hair. But twin A again, she had the easier life story. She had a very good responsible lifestyle. She, same gene pool. The other twin didn't have such a traumatic story, but she was a total outdoor person, didn't spend money on products, really didn't believe in much cosmetologies and cosmetics. And you can see it in her face with her pigmentation, with the degeneration of her tissue. Even her nasogenial lines are much, much deeper than her twin sister. And these studies made us so exciting, excited because we realized if we can listen to a client that has a certain identity, everyone has a certain expectation. We can now target that expectation looking at the needs with this whole new technology that we are using here. Now, Omics, as I've mentioned to you, it's like this bio, a study, all bi biological studies that end with the word omics means that they've looked at genomics or transcriptonomics or proteonomics. So biological study of all these elements that lead to various reasons why we age the way we do. Now, to look at genomics, we have wanted to focus on the gene pool, how we can with certain ingredients, how we can stimulate the DNA of my cells and what they are responsible for. Transcriptonomics, RNA, what possibly is more probable in using these types of ingredients? And then had to focus on proteonomics, proteins. Proteins is the building blocks of our bodies, our cells. So we had to understand what actually happens in the proteins within our body and how we can affect that. And then, of course, regarding metabolomics, we had to look at the function. Function of our cells, function of our body, and how with these ingredients and this technology, we can help that. Now, I always say to people, we know that stress, lack of sleep, bad eating habits, smoking, too much wine, all lead to glycation. If I tell a client, if I say to Shelly, Shelly, you will stop stressing right now, she'll laugh at me because she can't. If Lydia didn't sleep and I say, Lydia, from tonight, you will sleep eight hours. She'll look at me and just shake her head because you just can't force yourself to do that unless you possibly take pills if you struggle to sleep. If I say to somebody that smokes, you will stop smoking, they will laugh at you. They can't just stop. So people don't stop certain habits. People that are going through changes, maybe menopause, etc., they can't change certain habits. And we need to give them products that will still help with the degeneration that they, their bodies are going through to strengthen it while they are going through these changes, while they are aging. So we wanted to, if you focus on DNA with this range, we wanted to help the natural DNA repair of the skin so that a client can have a younger perceived age. Now, you all know me quite well, and I'm 51, and I can never look 21 again. But I really don't. And I'm happy to look the way I am, but I would like people to say, you miss, you look good for your age. Then my product has done for me what it should, is to create a skin that looks good for the aging process, the chronological aging or the stress-related aging that it goes through. Looking at genes, we need to look at ingredients that is going to help the longevity of my cell. 
And then, of course, if I look at the ohms, we need your ohm. I need to be able to give ingredients that will stimulate cell communication because the only way that my skin can regenerate is if there's a good, a good communication structure between my cells and bodies so that the skin can actually function better. It works much like a family or like a business. When there's no communication, it falls flat. Same with my skin. If my cell communication is not working, it will just fall flat. So considering all of this information, my target market when we launched this was 45 plus. But I want to go so far as to say a 40 year old can use it. If I have a 35, a 38 year old that has a really um, questionable lifestyle, life story, environmental exposures, stresses, she could start to use it. So we can even give this range to my interactive client as a superior anti-aging range because although it's really awesome actives, they are in delivery systems that are gentle even on the interactive skin and there are no acids. Now, ideally, it's a client that fits into that market that I've explained to you. Now, before COVID, you know, I traveled quite a bit and it's, it's part of my life. I could not imagine a life without travel. So it's been a really hard nine months so far. But traveling a lot, in planes, stresses, being on time, waking up early, setting your alarm clock at different time zones, etc., causes a lot of internal stress. So an ideal range for that client that is traveling a lot, that has a lot of um, ups and downs in where she is because it's going to help my skin to relate to the stress I go through. Other factors to consider, obviously, would be your typical aging skin or a client that believes in the harmful effects of alpha hydroxy acids, which are quite off, off, um, strange because I know that you will explain to them that it's not. But you do get clients that say, no, 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 I were on ranges with HAs. I do not want an HA near my skin. Then, of course, this is also ideal for them. Um, clients like my colleague um, Vicky in the UK, she has eczema and she can use this range. She can't use acids. So some people just cannot use it. So that would be my, my consideration. Dryness, dehydration, wrinkles, basically my aging skin or prematurely aged skin. So I have to tell you about the features then of this range. It obviously is delivery performance. We wanted to work on all those aspects I've mentioned. We want DNA protection and repair. We want to still, as, with, as we have with our acid range, our core, we want to have environmental control and restructuring effect on the skin. Deglycation, um, we know clients, when I start to look at story and style, lifestyle, there's a lot of glycation present, a lot of dark circles, a lot of damage around the eye area. It's to me a first indication, I need to look, she possibly suffers from a bit of, of glycation. She's got the sugar bonds are breaking off and cell communication, and we want to also prevent carbamylation, the breakdown of collagen one in the skin, want to counteract that. So for a client, the benefits this range will offer your clients is a decrease in wrinkle depth, an improvement in her structure and uniformity of her skin, lifting and um, wrinkle reduction, luminosity, and of course, an improved quality of collagen one. So it's got really great benefits. Now, before I go into the ingredients, you could use this range in so many ways. It could be for a client that you know fits this identity perfectly. It could be for a walk-in that says, I've come from another range with assets, I'm petrified of assets, but I need anti-aging as a foot in the door. Or what I love to do with this is to first put my client possibly on the NIMU core and then I will, call, I will keep, on, keep an eye on my client during consultations and improvement. And I, will, I know the benefits and the proven facts with our core range is I'm going to have structural and um, improvement. I'm going to have a balancing act between my epidermis and dermis. And I could possibly then, after about seven, eight months, 
I would maybe start to, in winter, let my client go on AI for the three, four months, and then maybe go back on the NIMU call. So you could even build a client to go on this and maybe just change it seasonally. So you can use it as my forever range, or it could be my winter range, or it could be, let me see what it does after my NIMU call, and I might go back. So you can integrate it and really enjoy it and play with it. The benefits I had to test on myself because I have to believe something before I can tell somebody about it. And because I've been on NIMU for long and have a, a good structure, this really just helped me. And when I tested it through winter, it really made go back in summer months to my NIMU day and my NIMU nights. Those are still always my favorites. So you could integrate and play with this as you like. Now, let's look at those omics ingredients. I spoke about omics, those biological studies. Now, this is so simple. There's three main omics ingredients. And you know some of these. This have, you've, you've learned about these ingredients years ago in colleges and in your experience in the industry. And the first one is chicory root extract. Hydrolyzed myrtle leaf extract and calendula flower. Such simple ingredients, but it's in the technology and how we use it. So yes, those ingredients are well known. So how did the scientists develop it? They used and looked at different extraction techniques to take the active out of those plants. They had to use a different technique and a different method of synthesis to be able to give it at the highest grade and highest percentage. They then also only used these actives, these molecules, as single pure molecules. Further to that, they had to give it an efficacy that was scientifically proven, so they insisted on the scientific evidence from these raw companies and from the extraction method um, exposures, and then had to look at our delivery systems and how we can actually ensure better penetration even in a hybrid system. So let's look at chicory root. What will this do? Chicory root is a wonderful ingredient to repair and to moisturize my skin. And we looked at the functionality. We wanted to look at hydration. Now, what's also wonderful about chicory root is that it actually acts like vitamin D in my skin. And we all know, we, most people have a shortage of vitamin D. You and myself, we live in the best country in the world, countries in the world with sun and, and great weather, etc. So we know then that we actually use more SPF to protect our skin against sun, etc. And we actually do not have enough exposure to vitamin D. So we wanted an ingredient in the skin that will stimulate and act like vitamin D. We wanted to restore those vitamin D receptors in the skin. That way we can help to stimulate the gene network that actually controls keratinization and desquamation and enables your mature skin to have a retained barrier function. That is one of the first and foremost functions you know of healthy skin is a good retainable barrier of the skin. So let's look at the chicory root and about vitamin D. Vitamin D, we know it's got internal factors also contribute to deficiency, age, phototypes, um, the intensity of the UV that you are exposed to, and behavioral factors. We wear clothes, we cover ourselves up, or we wear sunscreens, and hence we do not have sufficient vitamin D. So if I use vitamin D or chicory root extract on my skin, that way we can now affect the DNA that is influenced by lifestyle and story. The DNA that we want to influence is the DNA that's affected by limited exposure to vitamin D, to the sun. So we can, through the stimulation and the use of chicory root, create that perceived younger looking skin because we are naturally repairing the cell DNA. The second omics ingredient, we now have to look at 
what else gets damaged in aging. So we have to look at my longevity of my cells and restructuring. And this is where the hydrolyzed motor leaf works. So we have a reduced um, effect in the aging process. We've got improvement in cell communication. And of course, this is the ingredient that will specifically help with the anti-glycation effect of collagen in the skin. So the effects about glycation, as I've mentioned to you before, most clients during stress times, some even not during stress times, have a problem with sleep, so lack of sleep or lack of quality sleep, stress, which please show me a person in the world now that can say they have no stress, and an unhealthy diet, and of course, environmental exposure that we have to look at. So by using hydrolyzed myrtle leaf, we now, this study proved that there is a change in the genes that's caused by glycation. So we want to improve with myrtle leaf the cell communication to those specific areas that causes wrinkles. And we want to have an anti-glycation effect and that will lead to a more useful look of the skin. And the third omics ingredient is calendula flower. Now, calendula flower is where we're going to focus on the anti-aging aspect. So we want now to have an ingredient that is going to combat all those harmful effects due to the environment. We want to increase elasticity. We want to increase the tonicity of the skin. We want to soothe that micro energies in the skin, calm the skin topically, internally. And by doing that, we create that uniformity effect on the skin, where my skin again looks finer, looks more porcelain-like and looks younger and healthier. Now, just looking at this um, aspect and the anti-wrinkle benefits, um, we have to understand that 80% of aging is still linked to environment and lifestyle, where before we never looked at story and didn't pay much attention to genes. So we still have to focus on that huge percentage that is caused by the environment and your lifestyle. And we want to have um, limited age-related modification processes. We wanted to help those processes along. And that way assists my body and my skin, especially my skin, to adapt better to lifestyle stresses. So calendula flower, the biological omics study showed that it's the study that changes the happenings in my epigenome caused by environmental factors. That those factors that cause that loss of elasticity and tonicity of my skin. And we now require an active that will control environmental factors that my client will stay exposed to and possibly not listen to you and possibly not stop stressing and stop eating wrong. And that will result then in an increase in elasticity, smoother skin and collagen synthesis. Now, not you know, no brand, no product can only have three core ingredients. There's always complementary actors. And the complementary actors that we have used in omics so this, in the study was colloidal platinum. And I remember when we launched it, colloidal platinum actually won a silver award globally at the science fairs for a top anti-aging concept. So the colloidal platinum is in all the products. Then we've added Albizia julibrisin in the space serum, the, the AI booster, so to say, as well as acetylated glucuronic acid in the booster. And in the eye, we've added a well-known ingredient, sorghum bicolor stalk juice, one of my favorite eye ingredients. Because for the anti-aging, it just creates that immediate lifting. And show me a woman that doesn't want that immediate lifting on the eye area. So just in short, on the colloidal platinum, we actually have conjugated colloidal platinum and acetyl tetrapeptide 17. So a peptide, you know, is a wonderful cell communication ingredient. It really boosts um, the functionality of ingredients. So it's been conjugated together, which then contributes highly to anti-aging and anti-wrinkling. Now this collagen boosting peptide as I said, was combined with the platinum particles to have this really effective result on the skin. So the advantages of that combination is that the peptide was specifically selected to work well with this um, 
colloidal platinum. The peptide created a stability and a bioavailability in the skin together with the platinum. So keeping those actives longer in the skin and stable in the skin. And we focus on quite a high concentration of this peptide so that we can really give the best anti-aging benefit to our clients. We know Albizia, Julie Brisson. Um, Albizia is that wonderful repair ingredient. And our clients that are indicated for AI really already need a bit of, of uh, a repair. And remember, ladies, you could also give this as a preventative measure. So the Albizia is my lifestyle support ingredient. This is that ingredient that's going to help my skin not to be fatigued, to look healthier, to look fresher, and to basically have a rejuvenation effect on the glycation that was caused. And our one lab synthesized ingredient in this formulation is acetylated glucuronic acid. Now, it stimulates, this acid stimulates hyaluronic acid in my skin. And last time we spoke before about the benefits of good hyaluronic acid synthesis, and that we already have hyaluronic acid in our dermis that actually feeds our epidermis. So now we want to stimulate that synthesis in my skin and sustain the turnover. So by doing that with acetylated glucuronic extract, we can actually increase the moisturization even more of the skin and to different levels in my epidermis. And this will contribute further to the smoothing of my wrinkles. Sorghum bicolor stalk is that lovely ingredient that creates that micro lifting effect on my eye area. Some clients will say to you, oh my goodness, no, Lydia, it feels, too it feels dry. It's not drying. It creates that effect of tightness, which some people think is drying, but it's actually lifting and tightening the skin around the eyes. Now, I've mentioned it's in a hybrid delivery system. So in this system, we have used the polarized water combined with liposomal vesicles. That way we can have an absolute even distribution of these actives in my skin, but also actives that would have struggled to go through in a liposomal vesicle that can reform and reshape and be delivered at different levels. So taking two of our best delivery systems and using it in one go in this range. So the hybrid further then will help those actors because it's high percentages of single molecules to really be very stable when applied to the skin. No irritation, hence we can use it on the interactive client. And as I said, a lovely even distribution and deeper penetration of where I want my actors to be. This is just a lovely visual and I'll share the PowerPoint with Lydia as well, um, where it just shows you the therapist where in which level of my skin the stimulation takes place with these ingredients so that we can have that cell communication. And you will see here, we want calendula flower to work topically. We want it to work in the top layers for the anti-wrinkle benefit. We want chicory root to work a little deeper in my epidermis. I want here some repair moisturization. We want the hydrolyzed myrtle leaf to work in the deepest layer of my epidermis to through cell communication, have an effect in my dermis. And then we want the liposomal vesicle together with polarized water to penetrate from the top right to the deepest layer of my skin. Now, if you use your client might be on the NIMU core already, or you want to incorporate some of the core products with AI, the easy way to incorporate them with, we, we, I don't know, Lydia, are you also now finished off with your eye makeup remover? Good, because I, we still had it on until the last country sold out their last eye makeup remover. So you could use it with your NIMU cleanser, your, you can use your NIMU conditioner or conditioner light if you're interactive. You can integrate it with your pre and post serum, your exfoliating enzymes, your SPF 40 and 50, your super hydrating mask, anti-age leave-on mask, and active lotion and gel, which I will incorporate slowly and gradually as I would with any other range. So let's have a look at our treatments. Treatment protocols with this range, 
Of course, you will use it exactly as you would with faders. I could still give my client a therapeutic treatment. I can still give my client a bioactive treatment. I will just not give my interactive client a bioactive treatment. They will still have my therapeutic type treatments. And as my client is on phase two with AI, she's used to the integration of the assets, you can move on to glycolic, TCA, SRC, and all the other treatments. So you will just, with AI, move a little slower when introducing treatments, but bioactive Therapeutic deep cleanse can be done as, as always. If you think of your fader clients, your pigmentation clients, as I've mentioned, in our fader range, there's no assets in the day fader, night fader, day fader plus, night fader plus, because we have other actives that focuses on pigmentation. So, but we introduce them to cleansing gel, conditioner, phase two, you'll have the same integration process should you want to integrate it. If not, you know it's got its own cleansing cream. So it's got a lovely cleansing cream. What's different in this cleansing cream is that it also contains the pain. So some people find it a bit irritating over eyes. Um, you can use, as I said, any of the other cleansers um, if your client would like to, prefer, preference. Otherwise, we've got a lovely cleansing cream. We also have the AI Day Cream. Here you will recognize the actives that I've mentioned to you in the hybrid delivery system. So here we want immediate lifting, firming, reduction of lines and wrinkles. We then follow that with our night cream, which again has my um, omics actives in the hybrid delivery system. Again, it's going to work on fine lines and wrinkles, but at night, in the resting phase, it will also help with skin fatigue because you know a lot of regeneration takes place at night and our actors are at higher concentrations usually in our night products. My favorite product in the AI range, and I sometimes use this as my booster instead of, of our other boosters, depending on what I want to try out or my, where my skin is, and that's our face serum. Um, it contains that acetylated glucuronic acid as an added element. And this really helps to decrease that wrinkle depth to create a more superficial line and wrinkle on a really deep um, um, line skin. AI Eye is also one of my favorite eye products. I love to alternate it with um, our other um, eye products. So I would possibly use an anti-age eye cream for a few months and then go on to AI again and play around with the two. Clients that can afford, of course, they can use one in the morning and this one at night. So you can also inter, um, use it, change it. And of course, you know, ladies, to get the full benefit of a product, use it as it's prescribed. So to get the full anti-aging benefit of my eye, I need to use it twice a day. So always use it according to prescription. And this also, this product helps with the puffiness and the dark circles, but really have that lovely omics technology included. So that is the end of AI. So before we go on to the other add additives, let me end off the AI story. AI is really a very amazing, unique technology and 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 research for a specific client. You will love it or you will hate it. It's really worth trying out on the clients that have a lot of lines and wrinkles, that maybe are in a phase where they maybe have a different lifestyle, life story that you're struggling with and that they are struggling with. It is more expensive, but you can understand that if you look at the technology that's been um, added to this, um, this technology. And then of course, you have to consider the fact that you are not working with the assets per se, so as with, with our environmental damage range, so that you can focus on different kinds of needs on your client's skin. I'll also say to you, you're welcome to start with our NIMU core, move on to this and go back. So it's something you could start, go back on. And then those of you that have used it will possibly sit there thinking, when is she gonna say something about that awful smell? So yes, there is a very strange smell associated with this product. But the minute you put it on, literally in seconds, it dissipates. It, it leaves, the, you don't smell it anymore. And that is the main reason, according to our scientists, is that 
the actives we've used, you know, Namibia does not put colorants and fragrances and stuff in our formulations. The reaction of those omics together with the delivery system creates that like a scientific medicinal smell, but that disappears as you apply it. So what eventually happens if I usually use it for about three months before I go back on my nanny day and night, by the second week I don't smell it anymore and then I think there's something wrong because I don't smell it. But you just get used to it, there's nothing wrong with it. So a lovely range to try out. The best way to sell it is to see it on yourself first or to use it on a client that you know, maybe a parent or a friend that you maybe could benefit so that you can see the result on your client firsthand. And that brings me, yes, um, Shelley. I of course have several questions, but I didn't interrupt you because I would wait to the end. Um, first that of all, did you so not much. mention did you not mention the neck cream? Because the last time I um, saw Shane Frank, he said that he that they weren't going to produce it anymore. Yes, they are going to um, eventually. Play on the computer. Then we'll play on the computer. <laughs> they will. They will. When they will. What's the word, Lydia? Um, so, yeah, they're not going to stock it anymore. The neck cream, the reason for that um, is purely sales. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's the best. It is the best neck cream ever. It is fantastic. It is absolutely. Now that I don't have that anymore, I use only my um, skin reformer on the neck and decollete. The reason is sales. You know what happens, ladies, if you're a manufacturing company and you manufacture and send it out into however many countries, and if only like one or two countries really buy into it, your sales, you can't manufacture it. So that is purely because of, um, of sales that we have to discontinue that product, unfortunately. So is it not being made at all anymore? Is there still some available? Um, Lydia, you'll have to check stock levels. Yeah, and if you still have stock love, go and buy them all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, um, this question. I, yeah, I like it's very, very, very good. Um, I tell I tell my clients my story. I lost forty eight kilos, and I used the neck cream the whole way through, and ended up with no droop at all because that's yeah. what I used. Yeah. The lift in that is incredible. I've got it's, several it's clients. Yeah, I've got several clients on it who are like when they can't get it, they're going to be very upset. But um, the well, next one. The next one I wanted to ask you was a little bit about glycation. I've been doing some reading on that and there's a suggestion that glycation, um, you can actually, do, does Namu do genetic testing? Um, not our brand, but there are companies here that do it, yes. Yeah, and so you can get genetic testing and it can tell you if you're predisposed to glycation. You could also tell by looking at your mum or your grandma whether you are or Absolutely. not. Um, and so if you are predisposed to it, this would another client that would be looking at this range is somebody whose perhaps mum and grandma does have it um, yes. as a preventative. Yes. So does it have to have that myrtle leaf in it? If the you're going to, yeah. Does it have to have it in? Yes. Is, and is the myrtle leaf in everything? Like, so if I, if I've got a client whose concern is glycation, I'd be oh, saying, yes, look, yes. you need to, you want to prevent it from ever happening yes. to you because that's something you can't correct. Once, once no, that the, starts. It's done. It's done. The myrtle leaf, those three omics ingredients, calandria, yep. myrtle leaf, and chicory are in, is in everything. every single product. So, so long as they're using something in the AI, AI range, they're doing some preventative Perfect. work. Okay. Serum, I would then recommend the serum. Yep, yep, okay. And then just, this is just a little bit of shared nourish. It's not a big seller in my salon either. Um, the way I describe it is it's a prestige rain in a premium brand. Um, and so it's your, pre your prestige clients. But do you know who I've kind of nutshelled it into? It's for your socially irresponsible clients. Like I've got a, um, uh, I don't know if Laura's still listening, she'll know who I'm talking about. I've got a principal that comes in. So this is a very smart, intelligent woman, got a very nice income, you know, all that sort of thing. But she's a boozer. She's a nocturnal <laughs> boozer and she's not going to stop that. It's like life, lifestyle. <laughs> and she's even said those words outside to me. You know, I look after myself, I do what I'm supposed to, Shelley, but I'm not going to stop. And so she's a candidate for the AI, the AI range because she's Absolutely. not going to, yeah. Uh, 
I think Laura knows who I'm talking about. Yeah, so while you were talking, I actually started writing down a list of my socially irresponsible clients. And there's a common thread among them that they are big earners. They do have a little bit of excess money, but they have a habit. But they have a habit that they're not willing to whatever which one, whichever one it is they're just not willing to give it up. They already she knows it's bad for her, but she's not going to stop it. And that is this range. This range was we are working with mature people, mature women. Yeah. Yep. I love my glass of red wine at night. Yeah. And although we're not allowed to buy alcohol in South Africa again, um, it's become really hard. Um, and I'm not going to stop having a glass of red wine every night, every second no. night. And, and you love your job. So, Nora, are you going to not travel? There's certain no. things. you can, I mean, yes. it's the same with telling a nurse not to get her skin dehydrated when she spends, exactly. you know, 12 hours a day in the OR. They have to do that. Absolutely. So we have to give, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that is why with this, Nimia, really, we want to listen. We need to listen differently to our clients and girls we we have to start to listen to what they say because it's those little things they say between, oh my goodness no i'm never going to stop smoking no. also, i've tried i already see glycation i see stress i see inflammation i know what i can give her um and i will then obviously look at all the other aspects too yeah, because right, you, can't, so you can't educate these women they already know that they're just not they're no, choosing not they're to no stop damage. they're not going to stop yeah. So let's help them the way we can. All right. Well, right. I'll order up on the neck cream because I kind of like that <laughs> stuff. And so, yeah. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. All right. So additives further on. Additives. Why does a brand have additives? Because people want different things and have different needs. So I like to call the additives that add on. So those things that are an easy sale, first of all, because everybody gets the odd pimple. And um, when I have my period, I always have a pimple on my chin. And sometimes my husband, apparently my mood changes when I have my period. I don't think so, but my husband says so. And he often says to me, oh my goodness, it's that time again. And I'll go, why? And he'll say, you've got a pimple on your chin because he's now become accustomed to it. I don't need to buy the purifier. I can just buy the spot treatment or sell the, the problematic spot treatment to that client. Or my client that has a bit of pimple breakouts now and again, and just wants localized spot, just a focus. This is a, a have to have for everyone because 99% of, of men, women, everybody has the odd breakout. So lovely neem seed oil, my sebi regulating complex, and oh my goodness, ladies, we all know the benefit of tea tree. Um, some people hate the smell. I love the smell. So to me, it's really um, like, a oh, I'm doing something for my pimple. I know the purifying aspect. So lovely. The only skin I won't sell this to is my interactive skin, of course. And then I have my client that gets the odd fade, odd little um, pigmentation spot. It's usually when they maybe start to have go into different phase in their lives, maybe that premenopause, or they suddenly get a bit of an age spot here and there. Um, or they just have always struggled with it since pregnancy. So it could be for that person that just has that spot under the eye, that dark spot under her eye, or on the neck, or wherever, that just wants to focus on that spot but doesn't need the fade range. Or a person that's on the fade range that really wants even more targeted um, action with a bit of higher percentages of these actives, she could also obviously add it to those really dark spots. And this is so gentle that it can be used on my interactive client as well. And if you recognize the actives from the core, it's the same actives. So it's taking that ODA, the DGA, nicotinamide, that Oh, I love nicotinamide. It's such a powerful antioxidant and really adding that depigmentation effect on that pigment spot and discoloration. I actually have had some of my friends that started to get spots on their hands that's 45 and older. And then I would tell them that they'll go, you need to get to this one and just put it on those spots to start to the lightening process already and to keep it as light as possible. Now let's look at eye. Now those old nemugals between us, we know we, first of all, we always had an eye treatment and that was discontinued as well. Eye treatment was lovely. Some people loved it and I still loved it, but the formulation was, 
was old fashioned? And why just add something new to, to a formulation? If you'd rather take it away, it's really old fashioned and use the best technology that you have. So this one was not necessarily because of less uh, of, of lack of purchase. It was a combination of reasons why that one was discontinued. But the eye serum is still lovely. I love to sell this to any person that's a bit younger. Um, a person that has a bit of those puffiness, uh, maybe a few late nights, maybe the party girl, a bit of dark circles. I'm not talking hereditary dark circles. Uh, it helps to decrease those fatty deposits. And it's got that lovely gel-like structure. So it just doesn't feel like my eyes are feeling more puffy. Because some people will say, can't put a cream close to my eyes. Clearly they don't know how to. But I can't, I want something that's a gel. This is ideal for them, but it really still works. It's a lovely ingredient because of my tripeptide. I love peptides. I love the technology of using it in formulations. And then, of course, it's got the ubiquinone and botanical complex. So it's a really lovely product. And please train your clients how to use eye products. It's literally a little pump on the finger is enough for both eyes all around my bone um, eye, eye socket. It's still all time favorite of mine and I alternated with the AI due to the age, but this anti-aging eye cream is magnificent ladies. What I love about this one, I, you can give it to any age group. So what I normally do is I would recommend my eye serum for my younger, younger girls, but anybody that loves a serum, and then I will work them into starting the anti-aging eye. And I love to change things around. So I like to not use the same product for 20 years. And I'll maybe say, okay, we'll start on the eye, and then we'll go to the anti-eye, and then we'll move on to AI, and then we'll start to play around. Now, what's lovely about this, again, it's got my, this time, a tetra, cyclo tetrapeptide, and which is my communicator. So this one is going to focus on my collagen production. It also has GGP, uh, my favorite word that I don't, it's not a tongue twister for me, and it's geranol, geranol isopropanol. Can't say any other word, but this one I never forget. And the geranol, the GGP, energizes my skin, and it actually creates a longevity in my cells. And then I'm mentioning filling spheres lastly. Filling spheres is a beautifying ingredient. Filling spheres is not a cosmeceutical ingredient. But what do we want around the eyes, ladies? We want some beautifying as well. We want some filling in those lines and wrinkles. So in this product, we have the filling spheres that's going to fill those lines and wrinkles together with my peptide that's going to stop or limit the uptake of acetylcholine, which makes my wrinkles less and pliable. And again, remember in our AI, that effect instead of filling spheres there, we've got the sorghum bicolor to firm it. So we've used different technologies, different actors to create slightly different effects in the anti-aging of the eye area. And it's for absolutely anybody. It's not too rich. Um, some people might say it's not rich enough. To me, it's really just perfectly fine, but you sell it according to your preference and what works for the client. Masks, oh my goodness, masks. Generally in trainings, if I ask the group, how well do you sell masks? They all go, oh my, let's look down. Masks don't sell. And, and there's, a, there's different stories. Some people really sell masks well. Some people that maybe are on limited budgets will say, that's a nice to have that I can't really afford for myself at home. I'd rather focus on my day cream, night cream phase two. But the benefit of masks are just nonstop. A mask has two benefits. It helps your skin with whatever problem you sit with. It will help your skin immediately. But it's more than that. Think of the time we are in. It's that self-love, that self-care, that psychology behind applying a mask at home. It's that I'm giving myself 10 minutes. I'm giving myself time to take care of my skin. So I try to, when I sell it to somebody, to, to do twofold, to self-care, self-love, but to give you a product that's going to immediately make you look and feel better. A mask reaction is focused, immediate, 
take it off and you feel good and you look great. So what I love about the rejuvenating mask is that it's got the alpha lipoic acid in it. So it's got a lovely anti-age firming, lifting effect on the skin, but it's also going to, with my typical combination skin, help with that a bit of excess oil I might have on my tea panel. So it has that immediate antioxidant and brightening effect. So ideal for the client that is stressed, that is going to go away for the weekend and say, oh, but I look so stressed. Put a mask on a day before or the morning before or the night before a function. And this is the perfect mask to use. What people, the only time they complain about the rejuvenating mask is when they have to remove it. When they've left it on for 10, 15, 20 minutes and maybe made coffee and did a bit of housework. And it's so easy, actually a bit messy, but easy. So I tell them then to take a compressor at home and just make it kind of dampish, but not too dry and compress it all over the mask. It will immediately soften it and then massage it a bit and then wash it off. So just give your clients some tips on how to use it. The only client I will not sell this to is my interactive client because sometimes alpha lipoic acid, depending on concentration, can be a bit too much for them. But here the kaolin dries it out. It can be difficult to remove. And removal on a sensitized skin is something we also have to consider. One of my favorites, because I love to multi-mask, is clarifying. Now, as I said, I get, I get my chin breakout once a month, but I have my entire life had a bit of an oily tea panel, which I love. I don't mind it at all. So I love to put the rejuvenating mask on my cheeks, the clarifying one on my, oil, my oily tea panel. It lasts, literally, it lasts me a year. If I have these, I use three masks. If I have those three, one purchase, I don't have to buy a mask for a whole year because you apply very little. You just need a gentle coverage. But what I love about this one is, again, the Kaolin base, but the tea tree oil, that wonderfully antibacterial effect on the skin that I use. Now, I don't have the luxury of a weekly mask, but I, every second week, I spend time, half an hour with extra things that I will do on my face at home, and I really feel good in so many aspects afterwards. Again, not to be used on my interactive skin. A big favorite that everybody loves, but not for my problematic skin because it's a bit too, I could stimulate a bit of a breakout, is the super hydrating mask. This mask is the hyaluronic acid boost of a mask. So if I use HA, I always try to sell them the super hydrating mask as well because it's going to complement all my HA products that is used in the skin. But Together with what I use in home, this relieves dehydration basically immediately. So if I am going through a phase of a bit dehydration when I traveled a lot, a lovely mask for me to apply the evening before I maybe give a talk. Although I've got another favorite that I'll also share with you. And that is the Glyco. Glyco mask is a treatment at home. And I think I mentioned this to you last week. When, when we said, clients said, oh, I can't go for treatments at the salon. Uh, it's locked down. Of course you can do it at home because conditioner is your 7% first treatment. If you condition twice a day, I'm applying 7% and leaving it on the skin of acids. Then I am using my active lotion or gel, my, my NIMU rejuvenation miracle every second night. So putting 10% of acids in my skin, and then once a week when I can't visit the salon, I can apply this glyco mask for 10 minutes where I then have amphoteric glycolic acid and salicylic acid in a treatment on my skin. So you can either sell it as she can only afford maybe to come once a month for a treatment. So my friend, you need to do this every second week. For your preparing for your next treatment or for the client that says i'm in lockdown what can i purchase or buy or use as home treatments or somebody like me and you that just love that feel of treatment of lifting and firming and radiance now if i use this mask i generally don't use it the evening before i do a function i'll apply this the day before and um, because some people sometimes depending on how hormonal levels you can go quite red and tell the client not to leave it on for 10 minutes and um, longer than 10 
But between colleagues, you and me, I've left this on for 20 minutes, but my skin is used to good actives. So clients stick to 10 minutes. You guys can try it longer and tell me how it feels. But a wonderful treatment. And we only introduce our clients to this mask in phase two. So you've got so much that you can use it as a sell-in tool that will obviously work best for your salon or clients. I call this my travel mask. This is a lovely mask for clients that say to you, oh no, 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 Sue, I don't have time for masks. You do. If you're not problematic, you do, because you can put it on as your night cream every now and again and sleep with it. So you have time for this mask. This is a mask I always decant a bit when I fly anywhere far or for long hours, and I apply it when I sleep on the plane, as if I do, but if I, when I go to bed. I cleanse my face quickly and I put this on as my night cream. The next morning when I wake up, I go back to the bathroom, wash my skin again, and it is radiant. There's no dehydration. And I can literally get off a plane and my skin can look good. My eyes might look exhausted and red from lack of sleep, but my skin is looking good. And that is because I'm giving my skin a very, very mild, very gentle exfoliation with a papain but there's an anti-aging peptide. So it's going to lift fir and firm. And my geranol, geranol, as a proper novel, that's going to help with my luminosity, plumpness, and anti-aging. The only time clients do not like this, of course, we said no problematic, is if they are ED with a tendency to break out, then I tell them, put it on the cheeks and not on the chin if that's my area of breakout but you don't see that on, you can sleep with it on, it does not come off on your pillowcases. It really is a wonderful treatment. If they sleep with it on, I always tell them not to use it more than twice a week, but even once a week is great. And it lasts so very long on the client, for the client on their budget. Now, those are the masks. So there's not a big selection, it's just enough targeted for every type of person that comes along your way. That brings me to our next additive, the skin refirmer. The skin refirmer, Shelley, was always my go-to for the neck before AI neck, and now it's back to my go-to go for the neck. Um, when I sell a skin refirmer, I try to not sell it to my clients until they've been on NIMU for a few months. So I can't, don't even mention it to new clients. Kind of just keep it as a little secret. So I like to first have them on my NIMU core. The reason is my rejuvenation restoration effects with our unique combination concentration strength. Because it takes six weeks for epidermal stabilization and seven months for dermal stabilization and maximum effect. So I would like people to stay on the core for six to seven months to rejuvenate and restorate the skin. And then I will start to introduce them to this. Um, AI, if AI wasn't my core focus on my certain client, and skin reformer. And I will now say to them, look, let's now maybe look at adding something specific at night or in the morning. You can alternate it at first to replace your core day or night. So you could replace your NIMU day with a skin reformer in the day or your NIMU night. And maybe after a year, because some people fall in love with a skin reformer, they can replace both day and night, but keep on your cleanser, conditioner, phase two, etc. Or the other way I introduce this is clients that come in that say to me, here I am, fix my skin. I can see I need rejuvenation, restoration, but my neck is a big problem. I, I really, I can't stand it. I've had years of damage done to the neck. Then I would consider selling this as a neck decollete cream for a start off client. But I always first try to let them use the NIMU face neck and decollete and then introduce this if it's face or neck, but, or face a day or night. But for the neck, you can introduce it at first. But I would first wanna see what my NIMU core will do to the neck and decollete and then add support. Or what I love to do as well on myself is to use my skin refirmer in the daytime on my neck and decollete because it really firms and use my NIMU at night. So you could also 
play around with this product. This is our cocktail of peptides. This is like taking the best of the newest technology of peptides and putting it together to really make a cell communication, muscle contraction difference to the skin. People go as far as to call it a Botox-like alternative. And this is the only pro product that we only recommend for our um, environmentally damaged client. So faders are for pigmentation. They need to stay on their range. This is for an ED type of client. Unless my fader client wants something specific added on for the neck. The only trick with this one, you will never use it in the same application as my alpha lipoic booster. And the reason is simply because it's got different ingredients that work on different aspects of my skin. So DMAE in my booster will tighten muscles. So there's more of a contraction of my cell muscle where my peptides here, the Botox effect relaxes that cell muscle and actually creates a longer effect of my muscle. And obviously they can't work together. So I go into the gym and trying to contract and stretch your muscle at the same time. You can use it in the same skincare, home care, in that you maybe use your alpha lipoic activator at night and your skin reformer in the day, just never in one similar or same application. A nice to have that have become a must have for me is the vitamin C moisture mist. And the way to sell it is obviously to use it in your treatment at the end, to wake them up with this beautiful aroma of natural vitamin C, to really add an extra level of hydration to the skin, to set those endorphins free. And um, then of course, for me personally, it is to wake students up in training because I usually spray it on their faces. So that's why it became a favorite. But for myself, because I can, in my car, I usually spray it on my right arm when I drive for that added UVA screening compound. I spray it on my skin before I do anything that's going to cause stress because it refreshes me and it's become a part of my feel good, my everyday feel good. It's got so much more than just a feel good aspect. You know, you all know Shane and you're welcome to tell him I gossiped about Shane, but whenever we travel to the same country together, Shane misses his girlfriend very much. And he always sulks quite a bit because he misses the girlfriend because apparently she rubs cream onto his back every day. So when he usually meets me for breakfast, he'll say to me, it's okay, I've sprayed my vitamin C mist on my back. And I thought, okay, that is a bit strange, but I'll try it because we always have a bit of a dry skin on the back. And if you can just manage that spray all over, it really relieves that dry effect even. So every people, every person uses it for different reasons, but what a lovely gift, what a lovely um, add on and what a lovely way to introduce it to your clients at the end of a treatment. So as I said, a nice to have that has become a must have for me. We all need to take care of our kissing muscle. It's a very important muscle in the body. We can keep it nice and toned and then we can keep it nourished with our hydro lip protection. So the hydro lip, what I do with it at night, I apply it over my lip line. I don't smoke, but I talk a lot. So I think my mouth moves a lot so much that I will possibly develop lines there from talking too much. So I apply my hydro lip when I go to bed around, my, on my lips and around. And I just, this is something everybody wants. I usually introduce it in salons as a gift for the day or an, a nice to have that also becomes, a, I have to have it eventually for the clients. And of course, why not have something that also has your organic and inorganic sunscreens so we can protect against the environment. What I, I told a lady last week in a training, I love lip stains. So I usually put a lip stain on because it lasts all day. And then instead of the lip stains moisturizer stick, I apply the Hydro Lip over it. So everybody uses it differently for different reasons, but a lovely lip protection. And boy, oh boy, then you came and threw a spanner in all the works. Now, pre and post is one of my favorite products in the world and the reason it is and it's personal is because of my lifestyle 
So again, I have to look at my, I look at my client's lifestyle, life story. So the reason we launched this, originally when NIMU launched the pre and post, it was to sell to your client prior a course of treatments. So prior to a client coming where we're gonna disturb the barrier, we're gonna disturb the skin with acids and with needles, we wanted to start to build my, your biolipid layer. Your skin is prepared and ready for the course of treatments. She will stay on it during her however many months of treatments and continue it for a few weeks later. Ideal, perfect, worked. But then as we know, we've got people like you and me that always test things and realized you could use this every single day the rest of your life if you wanted to. Because it has more than one benefit. First of all, it protects my bio, it builds my biolipids. <coughs> it builds that layer of biolipids. It protects my epidermis. So it creates a protection. It builds the biolipid layer. But ladies, the other effect is that it actually whatever you apply over pre and post kind of just works a bit better because the minute I have a healthy biolipid layer, a healthy skin, whatever I apply will work better, whether it's treatments or whether it's home care. So now I usually say to clients, you can sell it as a use every day. So if you use pre and post, you'll always cleanse condition pre and post. Pre and post will then come before anything else because everything else I'm going to apply will, will penetrate and work better because of the enhancement in delivery systems. So I have my isosterol isosterate that's going to protect my biolipids. The mirabilis gelapa to bolt my biolipids in a liquid crystal system, a different delivery system. You can now sell it also still if you want to as pre-peels, during peels, after peels, or as something for every day. And because of my traveling, because of my lifestyle, I do and often tend to have dehydration. So this really keeps my skin hydrated always. Together with the new um, hydration serum, it is really quite magnificent. Now, Excuse you, me for interrupting, you, yeah. Denise. Would you use the pre and post? You're saying you cleanse your condition pre and post, and then if you were using an active gel or Over lotion, pre still Over pre, and pre and post and an active. Yes, you can, because the pre and post is not going to work on an anti-aging or pigmentation or the reason for using your booster. Yeah. It's also not going to assist with skin restoration and rejuvenation of my cells. It just focuses on penetration ability and building a biolipid layer and a healthy barrier. Okay, thank you. This is also what I do. Can Maybe I ask you got something? Can I yes, say something, course. Eunice? When of you course, told me course. about the, when you, last week you were mentioning about the pre and post serum, I started to do it myself and it is absolutely fabulous. I, you know, fabulous. I put it on, I put it on on the cleansed skin and then I put all my other, boost, or, you know, things on afterwards and I can feel the difference. It's fabulous. It Thank you. So it's really, it's a technology that's used mm. in, in the simulations. And if I, if I have a new client and, I'm, and, they, and she's maybe on another range, she's new to the area, new to my salon, and she's, oh, I love my Dermalogica, whatever they use. This is a product I can sell to her whatever range she's on, whatever other range she's on. If you maybe have two or three ranges, you can sell this with any range. It does not counter, uh, contradict or have any negative side effect with any range at all. So it's a nice to let her get into the NIMU name brand usage, and then I take it from there. Or of course, if I, especially in winter ladies, um, and even in our summers with our harsh climates, you know, you guys, us, we really have hot, hot winter in summers as well. It does not feel oily, it does not make the skin oily, it immediately works where it's supposed to work. Wonderful new technology. Now, together with this technology, our old NIMU, my old NIMU friends, you will remember years ago, um, definitely most of you will remember years ago, we had in professional two transdermal solutions. Do you remember that? The DMAE and what was the other one? I can't even remember it so long ago. Vitamin C. There, there you go. So what happened was looking at new formulations those days, they obviously changed, took those two 
um, transdermal solutions for professional away and introduced these new transdermal solutions for new TDSs. And they became retail and professional for the reason that sometimes if something works specific for your classification, it's so nice to complement it at home. You can use this together with a booster or as it on its own. Um, I look at my client's budgets, I look at her needs, I look at what she can afford, and sometimes I'll actually only for the first few months with me sell her a TDS and then go on to a booster. Or I might even leave the TDS a little while and go into the booster. Or for some clients, I will sell both because my TDSs is, is skin classification specific. It's easy to sell. ED skin, ED um, TDS. Problematic skin, problematic TDS. So you sell it for taking my classification concerns and improving it. Now, it's also really nice to use in conjunction with, it, with your pre and post. But if I sell this, my selling point is classification specific. That's, that's easy already. I want, I've got an ED client, she's got lines, wrinkles, sagging, ex, um, elastin production problems, um, hydration problems, premature aging, uh, focusing on, on delaying aging. I want to help your classification more. And then I will sell her this one. To use it, it's always after pre and post if I use pre and post, or I will use it as I do my boosters. Albizia Judibrisin, Mirabilis Jalapa, and it's in that liquid crystal system. So what do I want for an ED skin? I'm going to look at my client and say, oh my goodness, her skin looks tired. Her skin looks exhausted. She's predisposed to glycation or she has glycation. I'm going to first start to focus on her classification. I'm going to sell her the core and possibly this product at the, the um, pre and post. Because I focus on my classification concern, on my glycation concern for this client. So Shelly also a nice add on for this client to maybe alternate if she gets bored with the one, etc. The TDS for hyperpigmented skin contains ODA in high concentrations plus microencapsulated vitamin C. And it's only for my hyperpigmented client. So I have a client, she's on the plinth, I look at her, she's got severe hyperpigmentation. I'm going to put her on my fader range, my fader serum booster, but I want to give her a little more but not only more for the pigmentation, I need to improve that whole tonicity. So this will help with that entire skin of a pigmented client whose tone just looks miserable. So it's going to add on assistance for my pigmentation proper and product. So I love to start to sell this in with core, although it's not a given, not necessary. My favorite TDS is my TDS for problematic skin. The focus here is only problematic skin. It's that client that is in tears. And oh, girls, you know, a client with problematic skin, with acne skin, it is the hardest thing ever. I can still cover pigmentation with a good foundation. I can put two layers of my Nimue foundation and you won't see it. But if I have pimples and pustules and nodules, you will see it through the pigmentation. And it's so awful. Those people really suffer with self-esteem as well. Then I would give her my range for um, problematic skin and add the problematic TDS. The phytosynguacine, what's wonderful about this ingredient, it inhibits the growth of microorganisms. So specific to my client that suffers from this problem. And remember, it's got the liquid crystal system and reducing the signs of age of, of, of acne. So I easy sell that client. I look at her, she's in tears, help me. Okay, you're on my core, but I'm going to ask you to use the TDS problematic as well. And then the interactive is the only one that I can basically give to anyone, but not problematic. But stay focused maybe and focus with interactive on your interactive client to just to make it easy for you. Why we say you can use this one on ED and hyperpigmented skin is for the fact that it's also anti-aging. 
because nobody even looks at the interactive skin and think we need to also focus on anti-aging because they might be interactive but also aging and this wonderful product has the Neuropolis Jalapa, which will desensitize the barrier, help with my skin repair on that really sensitive skin, but also have an anti-aging benefit. So for my ED client that has maybe a little bit of a sensitivity, maybe that time of the month, or she generally feels a bit sensitive as well, and you get sensitive clients that are ED, as you know, this is also an ideal product for them with a sure signs of sensitivity, but a really lovely product. I love in professional, if I have to select a TDS in professional for micro needling, I choose this one for needling because it calms the skin, it desensitizes the skin as well. Although you could use all of them, but this is my personal favorite one in needling treatments. A lovely, easy cell, easy treatment. Also, if you are struggling to get people on Nimue because you're taking them off another brand, you can already introduce the TDSs from the beginning to get them to fall in love with the product because there's no actives. They will just love it and really then start to see and believe the benefits of your brand. This is just a little slide to give you some guidance. If my client maybe wants to use TDS and pre and post, Remember, my pre and post, the benefit is repairing and strengthening of my barrier. And I said to you, everything over a pre and post helps with added penetration. I then would apply cleanse condition, pre and post, TDS, night cream or day cream. That would be my, se my sequence. If I want to use a booster as well, and believe me, we have clients that want to layer and put everything on, they can use pre and post TDS booster day or night cream. If a client here, as you can see, also wants to use a booster with it, the booster will be used because I am going to focus on secondary effects and primary effects where my TDS focuses on my primary classification product and problems. And we believe in the targeted delivery thereof. Then we discussed this a while ago, the hyaluronic oil that we've launched. Um, you can remember this. It also has a penetration enhancer in the dimethyl isosorbate, which acts a lot like, it's the same penetration enhancer as in the pre and post which helps with the um, penetration ability. And as I said proudly, we were the first brand to have a HA oil. There are many oils on the market, but the first HA oil. Um, and enjoy it now, sell it in now before other brands start to copy, because you know we live in a world of copying each other. And the wonders about this is the prevention also of transepidermal water loss. I can't use the oil on my face but I love it on my neck and decollete. I was a really very bad, bad, bad young girl. And I used to be a sun worshiper and used to suntan extensively in my early twenties. And now I bear the brunt of the damage to the neck and decollete, unfortunately. So I do everything I can to protect that area. Now, any questions before I quickly touch on the others? I think this was quite simple, quite clear. Um, stick to the basics, ladies. Don't complicate things for yourself. Don't complicate a sale. Make it easy that makes sense for you and your clients. Now, I'm going to again tell you a little secret and be very honest with you now. Years ago, when you launched the Pro Age Foundation, I was a very big, serious double wear cover foundation person because I look often look tired from travels. I wanted to look like a porcelain doll. And when they launched the, the foundation, I thought, oh, this will never do what my other foundations do, my cosmetic foundations. And of course I will sell it, but I, I don't love it. And I eventually, due to treatments at the office and meetings, et cetera, had to start to use it and fell in love. And now I cannot use anything else because now I, I really see the benefit and the value of this. Because I love a good cover, at, at some times, I just apply a second layer. 
and I've got great coverage. And if I like now when we are not, we've changed how we think and work, I think, and less is more, I just need a nice thin layer. And usually I just put a bit on my tea panel and blend it in. And it blends so well. The loveliness of this product that I fell in love with was the Ceramide 2, I think, because of that even porcelain flow. It really applies extremely well and it creates like a 3D effect. You don't look like it's pasted on your skin. It's a skin health foundation. So it really complements what my Nimu does. And the hexapeptide, of course, Nimu promises you, remember what we promise you, rejuvenation, restoration, antioxidation, and protection. So here we've got our rejuvenation um, a restoration ingredient. And of course, it's got a very light UVB and barrier protection, but it's not an SPF. It just has added value to that um, protocol. We've got, obviously, as you know, a number of shades, the six different shades. The only um, color that I really find it's not ideal for is my really black skin, my really, really dark skin. Um, I mix two colors, so I buy two, and then I mix the two and three together to get my shade, and then it lasts double the time because I've got double the product. Why skin? Oh, again, if we were in a, in a normal situation, me standing in front of you and I ask you, how about youth? How does your youth sell? Some of you will say it's fantastic and others will say, what youth does it sell? Youth sells if a mother believes a child should have a product range because mom has the purse, dad has the purse. Youth usually starts to sell when a, stu a student or, or a child has a skin problem. Then mom gets a fright and starts to come to you and ask, what can I use? It's a pity. Um, I was very blessed that when I was a young girl um, in the early days, Lydia, that's very long ago for you, we used to go to a finishing school before you go to high school. And they would, in finishing school, teach you to go to high school to maybe um, take care of your skin and to start to use cleansers and moisturizers in those days, toners. So I've always been aware of it and made my children aware of it. But you have many moms that, that do not think that way. And then you have to consider budgets. Sometimes it's hard enough for her to buy her own product to then look at a very advanced youth product. But the facial wash is awesome. It's the 1.4 HA complex, exactly the same, but with added tea tree oil. Then we have a day cream and a night cream in one. So the moisturizer is a day and night cream. The only complaints are, or any, uh, if I do get is the pink on the packaging. The moms will say, oh, my son will not use this because it's got a pink um, packaging. Uh, but it's really a lovely product to use for a normal teenage skin as their day and night cream. Lovely coenzyme Q10, pentavitin. So we really want to keep those skins hydrated without adding oil or making it more oily. And then of course, if they come to you, they usually have a problem and they want something full of pimples. So that is where I bring in my clearing moisturizer. So I use and recommend the clearing moisturizer the same way adults use purifier. So I always say to a mom, look, it's got 5% triple HAs in it. It's high. And usually my teenager that has acne does not want to use the SPF. And if I knew they were going to put on SPF and repeat and reply it a few times every day, I would say go into the sun with us if you really have to. But we know teenagers. So I would say to my active acne, yes, use this AM and PM, but please ensure SPF. If it's an acne prone client, use it like my purifier. I would then use my clearing moisturizer as my night cream and my normal pink moisturizer as my day cream. So often I would say to the client to apply it as same protocol basically as my um, purifier for my adults. Then I have my blemish control for so the teenager that gets the odd spot. It has a bit of a pimple also when she starts her period or that time of month or when she stresses, a lovely spot control treatment, 6% AHA. So please ensure that they preferably use it at night if they're going to use it in the day, uh, just on the spot and apply their SPF over. SPF I know is expensive as it is. 
and um, we need to train our clients on the benefits of using an SPF. And SPF 50 is really expensive because of the technology, but that is ideal for the teenagers again, that has that oily skin, that has that, that want a mattifying effect on the skin. So if mom buys a SPF 50 for the family, it's ideal because mom, dad, and the teenager could use it at home. They've got the purifying mask, um, lovely tea tree kaholin base. You can leave it on for a good 15 minutes and it helps with those impurities on the skin. It just helps to clear it out and clean it out nicely. And as I said, same SPF 40 and 50 as in our normal core range for the entire family. Also, the SPF 40 and 50 is also a nice product to consider to get a client to start to buy into NIMU where they start to see the benefit of having a really superior um, product. But Lydia, you've got a different SPF in Australia that we manufactured there. So it's a bit different to the ones in South Africa. Um, Australia have different um, regulations than the rest of the world. So there's this, we've got your formulation that Lydia will share that info with you again. Man, oh boy. I think it's the same as teenagers, depends on the wife, if the man will ever find out about NIMU man. Um, or then of course you have our Metro men that thank goodness are into skincare. Now I've married, you know, South Africans, I think we're quite similar to Australians and New Zealanders in the fact that our men are quite manly men and um, outdoorsy men and please don't give them a moisturizer and they are really just the man of the house. So for me to get my very manly South African Afrikaans husband onto this was with a face wash. So I just subtly brought, brought, brought him a face wash and said, every time you're in the shower, wash your face with this. And I think when they start to see, but my skin really looks better. There's something that looks better because it's actually really properly clean and not dry after soap. They start to like it. And now my husband will say to me, that wash stuff is finished. You need to get me that wash stuff. And it really works. Same AHA complex um, as in the NIMU cleansing gel, but we've added the tea tree and the phytoliposomes. So it's got a lovely exfoliation renewal, anti-aging barrier repair effect. Lovely product. And I must say, ladies, there has been time where I was out of stock of my NIMU cleansing gel, and this is in the shower, that I've used this one. And it was cool, fine, not nice manly smell. It felt a little butch after the cleans, but really worked extremely well in any case. The day night cream, I would say is their anti-age cream. And it's suddenly, I think from 50, 55, where a man starts to see some deep wrinkles and they don't just look um, like really distinguished anymore. They start to look like they're getting old, where they might say to the wife, maybe I need something. And this is a lovely day and night cream. And it's got our anti-aging and our exfoliation benefits in this product. My cream that I find the easiest to sell to a man, to get a man to start to use something, is the treatment aftershave. Now, that's the one I get, got my husband to use. He uses it as a day and night cream even. I know it's ideal for after shaving, but it's got DMA, E and Allen Twain. So if they only want to do one, please let them at least use it twice a day. It's not going to be harmful to the skin. This is also the only product that my son that had really bad teenage acne years ago can use without any breakouts, with gentleness after shaving, and now in East 26, have a beautiful skin. So it's something I introduced after his acne cleared up because they had a sensitive skin with shaving and it just grew on him. It's really a lovely product to use for our male clients. Also anti-aging, tightening, and of course a healing, anti-irritant product. Same SPF that you have available for your clients. Our old, my old NIMU friends, you will say to me, now your niece, where's the heel balm? Where is that beautiful repair gel we had? Where's all the wonderful body products? And I do agree, I miss them terribly because I use them. But because of lack of buy-in and sales and decline in sales, Due to cost, I suppose, for these products over the years, we just could not justify manufacturing them for the few people that wanted them. So we left with one 
body product, which please buy it because I don't want them to discontinue it. This is such an awesome product and it's the anti-aging hand cream. It really is anti-aging. Um, such wood, I, I use it all the time, every day. It's with me all over and I don't have, have any marks yet on my hands because it's got a bit of an exfoliation effect. It's got that healing and renewal effect from the Kegelia Africana, that sausage tree. And it really does not feel oily on the tip. I hate fingers that feel oily. And it does not feel oily at all on the tip. Sorry, I've got a, a naughty baby now that wants attention. Um, I don't have that oily feel on my fingers. And it's something I can use every day all the time. So a lovely product. When I travel, I decant some even in a little glass container and really takes care of those age spots. So for my mature client that starts to show age spots on the arms and hands, um, this is an ideal product to also introduce it to. But then what I normally do, if I have a client who has age spots on the arms and hands, I invite them for a facial that includes a hand and arm peel, hand and arm treatment. And I repeat on the face, the hands and arm, what I do on the face as a lovely anti-spot, anti-aging anti treatment for that area. That, my wonderful ladies, is what I'm going to leave you with today. It's quite a mouthful. And before you can ask questions, I want to thank you so, so much for your commitment, for your participation, for really spending time in the late afternoons to listen to, to us and for um, Lydia for arranging this. So I'm going to end with my, one of my favorite quotes, and it's one that Nimi uses often, and it's, if you can't figure out your purpose, Figure out your passion because your passion will lead you right into your purpose. And if there's one person in the world through making beautiful mistakes, it's me. And that is what I've learned is to always go back and follow my passion because that is absolutely where I'm then supposed to be in life. So that is that for today. 